Hello everybody, I am Jay, Leonard Jay, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the insert feature on the Bose S1 Pro Plus to take your electric wireless guitar tones to the next level. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is over here, the S1 Pro Plus from Bose. It's their new three channel PA system. Um, it's very lightweight, loud, it's powerful, and it has a super long battery life, so it's a really, great unit for people on the go uh, wanting to get things done. And uh, I made a video on this thing already where I talk about like the app it has and like I'm making another video on using it for live streams and podcasts. But today I wanted to talk about using this thing as an electric guitar player and how to solve some of the problems. So it has to do mainly with this thing over here. This, this whole unit has an integrated wireless system. So we can plug my guitar into it and automatically with the optional wireless transmitters, the sound will come here. And for all you electric guitar players out there, I'm sure you know that this plug directly into a PA is not the best sound in the world. Us guitar players, we want our pedal board in there. We want our amp sims to really make our electric sound like an electric guitar. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually gonna show you how to use the wireless bug and still be able to use your pedal board, still be able to use your amp sims to get the sound out of here the way you really, really want it to be. And um, I'm also gonna show you how I set it up and how I use it for my particular setup. And maybe uh, it will give you an idea of how you can actually integrate something like this into your life as a lead guitar player. So let's plug this thing in and have some fun. So uh, today's goal is I'm gonna get this beautiful McMull Heartbreaker and I'm gonna plug it in wirelessly to the Bose S1 Pro Plus. After that, what we're going to do is we're gonna get my Helix, put it into the insert, so that way it's gonna serve as my like amp sim and like pedal board. And the last thing we're gonna do is make sure that this whole thing is set up to best complement the sound of my guitar. So I want a really neutral starting off point. I want all the details and dynamics to come through and really serve as like a dedicated guitar monitor. All right, so let's start off with the wireless connectivity. The first thing to do is to link your wireless transmitter to the S1 Pro Plus. So uh, I'm gonna get my quarter inch transmitter and plug it into input two. That's uh, the channel I wanna put it in. And that's it. Once I plug it in, it does the work for me. It's already paired. After that, I just uh, take it out of the box, put it into the guitar, and in theory, let's see if it works, we should be connected and ready to go. Nice, really, really dry, <laughs> that direct to the PA guitar sound. It's really, really like, strident and pure. So let's get that Helix in there to really make it sound like a rock and roll guitar, all right? So uh, the first thing we need to do is prepare the PA uh, to take an insert. So what we're going to do is you're gonna hold on to the button on channel two and get to the sub menu. In that sub menu, you'll see the word insert. Just make sure it's set to auto. It should be like that by default, but just make sure it's set that way. The other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the expander setting is set to off. And that's what that's gonna do is if we have like delay or reverb on our uh, modeler, it's not gonna cut off the tails. It's gonna be nice and pure. It's gonna decay really, really pure. So make sure that expanders is set to off. And then let's uh, plug in our Helix. We'll get a Y cable, plug in the TRS side into the input of channel two. Then we'll get the uh, tip side of the cable, put it into the input of the helix. We'll get the ring side and put it into the out. And now we have a full circle of the helix going into the Pro Plus. I'm going wirelessly into the Pro Plus. Now we actually have to do one more step and this is the thing that I think really makes it work. We're gonna go into the tone match setting and we're gonna make sure the tone match is set to uh, that flat response. So uh, that flat response is no color at all. There's a little bit of a color to the PA out of the box to make it work great for like music playback and uh, that kind of stuff. We wanna have like, like monitor grade sounds. So when we're tweaking our tones, it's gonna be much more realistic 
to uh, what we're actually getting inside the box. And if we do that, all of a sudden, we have my wireless guitar going into the Helix and having that sounding as pure and beautiful as possible. One really cool application of this is actually uh, for your live playing, uh, putting it in front of you and pointing it up at your face just like a floor monitor. And then what I'll do is that way I could be in control of how loud it is and how it's EQ'd. And then I'll send it out to the, the sound person uh, via either the uh, amp modeler itself or through the line out in the back of the S1 Pro Plus. And if you use the line out in the back of the S1 Pro Plus, you could really take advantage of the fact that it has multiple outputs. So I'm gonna do something really funky. I'm actually gonna use this thing wirelessly with my Helix as well as my Boss RC-10R. And an RC-10R is a looper and a drum machine all in one. So the way I have it is I'm going from the out of the insert into the Helix, and then my guitar is being fed from that into the RC-10R. I'm taking the guitar out from the RC-10R back into the insert, and then I'm taking the drum side of the RC-10R and plugging it into uh, the first channel. Now I have my drums on one channel, I have my guitar tones on the other channel, so they're not EQ'd uh, the same. I can actually have freedom to EQ it, and I can get some really cool sounds that I could send to the board uh, from the main out. Check this out. Let's uh, do a little bit of a loop here. And that is how you actually use the Bose S1 Pro Plus with uh, your electric guitar rig. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already and check out the links in the description. It really does help out. Um, if you wanna learn more about the Bose S1 Pro Plus, uh, check out my other video on it. It's a much wider, like overview on things so you could really see what this uh, whole unit is about. And also keep your eyes open on the page because I'm also gonna be making another video on this thing, uh, focusing on uh, connecting it to your computer for live streams and stuff like that. So that'll be a really, really fun one to make as well. So keep your eyes open. I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.